Hi and welcome to the review of the Samsung CU7100 series from the 2023 TV lineup. This is an entry-level UHD 4K series that is replacing last year's BU models. The new CU series is available in a wide range of screen sizes, from 43 up to 85 inches, and I've tested the 15-inch version that was purchased for the purpose of this test. CU7000 and CU7100 series are positioned at the very start of the UHD 4K lineup with CU8000 and CU8500 series positioned above them. The main difference is that Series 8 models offer a slimmer design, come with a solar remote and offer height adjustable stand. Both offer the same picture processor and color gamut coverage, despite Samsung highlighting dynamic crystal color for Series 8 and pure color for Series 7. Only quantum dot technology makes a significant difference, everything else is marketing talk. CU7100 series is entirely made of plastic, with supplied two feet that can be installed without any special tools. As an alternative, you can mount the TV on the wall. Basic cable management is implemented in the form of slots in which you can squeeze in the cables. Clips for fixing the cables at the back of the feet were not supplied with my unit. Wired connectivity includes the following. Three HDMI connectors capable of accepting UHD 4K HDR 60Hz signals, with one of them also supporting EARC. Then we have one USB connector, Ethernet, antenna and satellite inputs, TOSLink, a common interface and a two-pin power socket. Wireless connections include Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, as well as the ability to stream content directly from your smartphone or computer. The same remote Samsung is supplying for several years now is supplied with CU7100 series. It is an infrared remote which needs two AAA batteries to operate. There is no built-in microphone or customizable buttons, but you will get shortcuts to popular streaming services. Last year Samsung did a major update to its Tizen platform, version 6.5. This year's models come with version 7.0, which looks exactly the same as before. I did notice that the new version is more responsive and was not suffering from delays in response as was the case before. Customization is limited, but at least now you can rearrange the quick settings menu. The interface is still in Full HD resolution which is upscaled to the native UHD 4K. The most popular streaming apps are here, but the selection of other apps is still very limited compared to the Android TV platform. Coming to picture quality, I think I sound like a broken record that keeps repeating itself, but the new Series 7 doesn't bring any improvements compared to the BU, AU, TU and other series I tested in previous years. Again we have a TV with a native Ultra HD 4K panel based on LCD technology, 60Hz refresh rate, edge LED backlight without local dimming and crystal 4K picture processor. The most accurate picture modes are Movie and Filmmaker for watching live TV, movies and TV shows and for gaming the best response is achieved when game or PC modes are activated. Since TV is using a 60Hz panel, motion blur is present, but it is on the same level as I've seen in previous years. It is not distracting when watching movies, but for sports content on the big screen you should look at models with 120Hz panels if you want a sharper image. Crystal 4K processor works the same as last year, upscaling of standard and HD content is well done, handling of interlay signals is great and noise reduction is effective. Finally, global dimming where the TV automatically adjusts LED intensity in dark scenes to hide imperfect black levels of an LCD screen is here again this year for SDR and HDR and you cannot disable it in user menus. HDR is very limited since the TV doesn't have the hardware capable of displaying high brightness and a wide color gamut. With peak luminance reaching only 250 nits in filmmaker mode and without local dimming, HDR looks like SDR or worse in the case of content mastered at 2000 nits or more. For gamers, I recommend game mode with a low input lag of just 17 milliseconds and if you change the input name to PC and use game mode, the value will drop to around 15 milliseconds for 1080p 60 signals. Consider that only in PC mode you will get full color resolution. Ah, 
sound quality is without any change compared to last year's model. It will be good enough only for not demanding users. And for everyone else I highly recommend an external audio system. Enhanced Audio Return Channel or EARC was working stable during the test, with Dolby Digital Plus and True HD signals being sent to the Denon AV receiver. DTS is again not supported this year. Let's conclude this review. Year after year Samsung's mainstream UHD 4K series keeps offering the same basic level of performance and limited list of features, with the aim of being more affordable than the QLED series that offers more in every aspect. CU7100 series continues this trend with features that Samsung could have easily added as a software update to its previous series. So my conclusion is the same like many times before. If you want the same level of performance this TV offers, get the 2022 BU series which is at the moment of making this review almost 100 euros cheaper for the same screen size. For example, with the BU8000 series you will get a remote with a built-in microphone and another good alternative is TCLC635 series which offers quantum dot technology and has Google TV interface with a wider selection of apps and features. Thanks for watching this review. I would like to thank my longtime supporter Retail Shop Ronis for lending me Denon AV receiver to test ARC connectivity on this TV. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.